So what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Um, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. In this series of videos, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody how I erected a steel master building by myself. Um, there is one, one place where you're going to need another person's help. Um, I did use my wife and that's basically uh, just when you got to screw down the bolts. Like you got to have somebody on the un underside to hold the nuts while you screw the bolts down from the top. And I just couldn't find any way to do that by myself. But what I did manage to do was create something for my wife that would make it real easy for her where she didn't have to get up on a ladder or anything like that. So I'll uh, show that in the video as well. But um, basically the steel master building that I have is uh, 20 by 22. It's about 11 foot in the center. And I did put the thing up completely by myself. Um, and basically in this first video in the series I'm going to just show you what it was that I used and how I constructed it so it is kind of detailed I do talk a lot in the video about how I put it together and the reason being is because I did some of the other videos that I saw on YouTube show people using a, a similar device but nobody actually talked about like how they constructed it and then I also um, devised a pulley system that I was able to use with a winch that I attached to my lawnmower so all that's in the video I'll show you know how that worked and what I did to put it together and everything so I hope everybody enjoys and um, let's get right to it so here is the thing that I constructed um, to raise the panels and so basically the way I did this <clears throat> was this uh, trough over here that it calls for is three and a half inches deep. So I figure, you know, if anything, this panel is gonna have to be able to come down three and a half inches lower than the bottom of this as it's sitting up on the concrete. So basically what I did when I began to um, put this together was I put some two by fours down flat so that you know that take you know down here below it and butted it up against it and then went out to the edge i cut well actually let me rephrase that i put together the panel first okay and then these two by fours here this particular building that i have is 11 foot tall so these two by fours that i've got are actually 12 foot so if you come around here to the back um you can see they extend out beyond the uh, beyond the building so I didn't need to know where to put these right away all I did was I went ahead and constructed the panel and then I just had the, the three two by fours laying out and basically I put it up onto the two by fours and then I positioned it to where these these two ends here were uh, the distance apart that they're supposed to be. So I kind of had a rough idea that this was, you know, orientated properly of how it's going to be when it's actually in the troughs. And then once I had them apart, I tried to make them as even as possible. And then basically what I did is I laid down a two by four um, flat flat down here butted it up against the bottom of this board and ran it out to the edge and then put the bottom of this to the bottom of the two by four so that would kind of account for that three and a half inches that it has to go lower and then once i had that um once i had that positioned and i would and i positioned it on these three boards according to how far it needed to come down in order to reach the bottom of that two by four if you're not clear on what I'm saying, let me just show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I need to grab a board. <clears throat> Obviously, I had longer two by fours, but so so basically, I just butted that up like that. And then, you know, but obviously I had like eight foot two by four. So they went all the way over there and then came a pretty good ways on this. 
so that I could see. And then basically I just, wherever the end of the two by four fell over here, I lined the end of the building up with it, the bottom of the building. And then once I had it positioned properly, then I went ahead and built these where they were at. And hopefully it comes out right. Honestly, I haven't raised one yet, so I'm not sure. But if, you know, if I actually need a little bit more space, if I need it a little higher, then um, you could just disassemble this and bolt it up a little higher. Or I can gain an extra inch and a half each time by just adding more blocks on top of these, you know, screwing them down on there or whatever. So <clears throat> hopefully it's not uh too too high though where it needs to come lower otherwise i will have to actually unscrew those and bring them down as far as uh this right here this whole mechanism this is just uh like tent uh tie down rope it's good for like 300 pound load the whole panel all assembled is supposed to be roughly 250 pounds or so i think and then uh then you have the the weight of the lumber as well but um that that you know and plus these ropes are doubled up so i mean that's more than sufficient to hold it basically i have a uh a screw eye up there and it's not necessarily fixed on there there's one of those um those c brackets that screw around that allows me to hook that to and I happen to be pulling it from a place that's much lower on the ground so I don't believe there's going to be a need for that to be able to come undone but if you're pulling it from a higher area an area that's actually going to be higher uh, than what this the top of this board is going to be once it's laid down then you'll need to be able to have that uh, not be fixed on there like that let's see so um as far as the as far as the rest of this i just kind of like these screw eyes i went down through the screw eye and then around the board just to kind of make it a little bit more secure if the uh, screw eye failed or something or came out of the wood at least the rope is around the board so it shouldn't let go these boards here are just for bracing to keep these uh to keep these you know the the space apart that they're supposed to be and then obviously i got a couple little boards there um that really shouldn't be pulling it's it's your ropes from the top that should be pulling um these are just to kind of add some more support and also it gives you something if you notice this board has been a little forward it's because when i when i Put these ropes on I've, i made them a little snug so it kind of gives it something to pull against as well <clears throat> what i did as far as what i'm going to pull it up with is uh, i devised a pulley system with some st stuff that i got from harbor freight so basically i made this i welded this whole uh square tubing assembly together and then bolted that on the lawnmower here the lawnmower's 12 volt system this is a little 2500 pound winch from harbor freight should it's more than sufficient to pull this thing up so that should be real easy for that to do it. and i tried it with one pulley system first and it was doing pretty well it did you know obviously it didn't have any problems but then i went ahead and devised this these little pulleys i also got from harbor freight i bought three of them i was going to buy four and make it a four pulley system but they only had three of them in stock so i got i got one on this end and then basically over here i have two of them that i basically just took the bolts out went to heart uh home depot got some longer bolts and kind of bolted them together to make it like a two pulley system there and the uh the the, the steel cable there i got from harbor freight as well as well as the uh the hook there the ends this this uh, assembly here i had to actually buy at home depot they didn't have it in harbor freight i'm not sure why maybe they were out of it or something so and then this is you know i just have it strapped up over here so interestingly enough though um with a three pulley system literally i can grab that hook right there i don't even have to have it hooked to the uh uh 
to the winch there i can grab that hook there and just start walking and pull it up by hand like like the the three pulleys really and then over here i i have this this is the other line uh so this is basically where it's hooked to then it goes down around one pulley comes here around one pulley goes back down around one pulley and then it hooks to the winch and comes here and the reason i have this like this is because and then also have another chain here that's longer is because you need to be able to make this part adjustable because you want to start basically where this hook is pretty much you know like in my my case i've only got so much room to pull here so i want this hook as close to the pulley as possible with everything else already tight so i'm not using any of my pulling area to just tighten up the rope so that's why it's important that you have some sort of adjustable factor here in the middle something that's quickly adjustable and easy because also as you uh as you put more panels up and you go further away um you're gonna this is this will have to be able to get longer so which is not a problem i mean i can make it longer i've got plenty of slack here but it's just uh it's you know i, I still need to be able to utilize all my pulling space here to pull it all the way up <clears throat> And then finally, uh, I have some rope here at the bottom. Goes here, goes up under there. It's not being hung up by anything because everything is kind of elevated out of the way. I have it basically just coming around here. I still have the form boards uh, on the sides here, so I haven't taken those off yet. So this board goes down pretty deep I mean shouldn't be any reason to think that it's coming out of there plus it's still attached to that goes across there around another board and then uh, back through here and then it ties over there and again this has to be something that you can quickly adjust take more slack out of it as the uh, the building construction moves more this way so and that's basically just to keep the bottom that bottom board from coming forward as you raise it <clears throat> i mean you just want that board to base it's going to basically stand on that board this board going across and um and really all i did here just to show you how i tied all this together most of this lumber i just had kind of laying around so just basically butted the end of the two by four into the other two by four kind of perpendicular screwed it in from the bottom and then put these two by threes and that did the same here and the same on the other one over there and then basically put the two by threes across screwed them in from the top there and then also through the bottom of the board there as well to kind of hold it all together so <clears throat> excuse me so basically what we're going to do is uh i'm gonna go ahead and put this camera on the tripod and then we will see if we can raise this thing and and how how it does <clears throat> 